Hey, this is the fighter. I'm joined now by Jamie Varner. Jamie, thanks for being here. Hey, no problem. Glad to be here. You're forced to be here anyway. You're kind of stuck in the New York MMA Expo right now. Well, you know what? This is this is a big thing for New York. Oh, you know, trying to legalize MMA here. So I'm just glad I could be part of be part of this. You have some fun here too. Uh, you've been you checked out ACDC last night. You're headed to some uh, golf club I hear tonight. Okay, I went to ACDC in Jersey on. Well, what day is it? On Friday. So ACDC on Friday. Went to some club last night, which I was hanging out with Andre Arlovsky, Sean Shirt, Clay Guida, and I don't know, man. It was just, it was just an awesome, awesome time. It was a good good, good night. And the last time I saw you in action, you uh, had a fight against uh, Cerrone. And you had some injuries going on. And I see right now uh, you got the hand. How's the hand doing? The hand's it's slow motion, but it is getting better. I went to the doctor last week. First time I've had positive news in a while. Uh, he tells me that I'm going to be probably full go in September, so I'm just looking forward to being able to punch people again, and you know, Donald Cerrone, he, uh, he's got a beat down coming, another one, so I'm just looking forward to kicking his ass. Now, uh, there was rumors you're going to be stripped of the title. Is there any truth to that at this point, or are you positive you're going to hold on to that belt? Uh, the belt is mine. It's not going anywhere for a long time. No, they're fighting for an interim title, so him and Ben Henderson, which should be a good fight. Um, I actually see Ben Henderson winning that fight, but they're fight what they're fighting for, honestly, it may as well be plastic. You know, it's a it's a glorified second place, and you know, there aren't you aren't the man until you beat the man. Are you a little offended they're having an interim title fight? I don't really care, man. I, I'm the man right now. You know, I got the real battle. They got the interim. You know, I'm the world champ. So it's just, no, no. I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but it's just, it does kind of bug me that they're doing that. But you know, they gotta do what they gotta do to uh, to make the the organization and make that weight division move forward. Without me fighting, I'm carrying that division. So they need to have a world title fight in that division and make it relevant. Fuck it. Let, let Cowboy and Ben Henderson fight for it. Who would you like to see win that fight if you had your choice? I want Cowboy to win it, but he's not going to. I think Ben Henderson's a better fighter. He's a better grappler, better wrestler. So uh, Cowboy has no takedown defense, so I see him losing that fight. Are there enough challengers to keep you happy in the WEC right now? Or do you eventually want to move into UFC or maybe Japan or somewhere else? I'm happy with the WEC. I'm really it, WEC is my home, but I want to fight the best fighters in the world. So if the day comes where the WEC can do that, I'd be more than happy to move, but I'm not going anywhere outside Zufa. I like being under the Zufa umbrella. It's not going anywhere. They're their business model. Even though a lot of people don't like a lot of fighters don't like it, they're not going anywhere for a long time. So I'm always going to have a home. You got the belt here with you today. I don't see it on your shoulder. What's going on with that? Put that bad boy on. Well, you know, I, I carry this thing around a lot, you know, and I don't need the belt to be a world champ. People just, people, people know, but I really, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, I try not to look at it, so it's like, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, so I always feel like I'm fighting for it. I'm striving to, to better myself, so that's why you don't, probably, you don't really see me carrying it around too often. Here, you can hold it. I can, I can hold it, all right. See, it looks good on you. It looks better on you than it does on me. I'm keeping this. I'm bringing this home. This is my prize for today. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, now I also want to ask you about, uh, recently in an interview with Steve Cofield, Razor Rob McCullough had a few choice words for you. I don't know if you had a chance to see this interview. Do you have any response to uh, Razor Rob? Ray, Razor Rob's a beat fighter. <laughs> I knocked him out. What, what do I have to say? I knocked him out. There's nothing, there's nothing else to say. He can talk all the shit he wants, but when it comes down to it, I knocked him out. You know, talk all you want, Razor. Do you want to smack the taste out of his mouth again, perhaps, and let him know, or uh, what's, what do you no, feel, man? No, I don't wish anything bad about him. I know uh, I heard he's getting married and, you know, going to have a kid, so I, I'm actually happy for him. And, uh, you know, Rob, Rob will always be Rob. He's always just been a shit talker. That's what he's got to do to get himself up for a fight, and that's that's his thing. Him and the Cowboy, they can do all the talking they want. I don't need to talk. Just, I can go out there and fight. That's what I do. Now, you used to fight at 170. Right now you're down in a different weight class. Are you happy in this weight class? You want to try oh, to go yeah. back up? Oh yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to go back up. I mean, the 170 pounders are 205 pounders. You know, They're, they walk around 200 pounds. So it's just, it's it would be too hard, too hard of a jump to go back up to 170. Uh, I had to change my lifestyle, my body type to get down. I used to walk around 180, 185 when I was wrestling 165s in college. Now I try and walk around like 175, 180, fight at 155. Now with a lot of free time in your hand, what are you doing all that free time? You know what? I, 
I'm training, I'm just always trying to better myself. You know, like, um, not having a right hand has forced me to work on other things. My, my kickboxing has gotten a lot better. Like, my left hook has gotten a lot better. And also, um, I've been swimming with the ASU swim team. So I, that's how I've been able to kind of stay in shape. So, you know, I've been able to work on a lot of different things. This injury was honestly a blessing. All right, you have any words for the Cowboy coming up? Good luck. Good luck. All right, Jamie, thanks for being here today. I'm bringing this belt home. See you later. Yeah.